need to brag, but I'm like really, really happy. I have a cool job, I have a whole bunch of really good friends, my apartment is amazing, I have a bicycle, and I know how to make falafels from scratch, and they're pretty good. So, life, I'm winning. I get all the points for being alive. And I thought, in order to celebrate, I would write like a funny, light-hearted summer story. We could all laugh, have a good time, go home, carry on with our lives, but turns out that everything I write is depressing. So, my apologies in advance. Um, this story is called Swans in Designer Sunglasses, and it goes like this. Swans in Designer Sunglasses. The moment Andre found a pair of child-sized Louis Vuitton sunglasses and bent them with a speak to fit his slanted face, we knew that we were in trouble. Swans are innately assholes already, and now the only swan in our pond had designer sunglasses. We thought it was bad a few months before when Andre started telling everyone his, he was the official property of the Queen of England, that he may be alone in the pond, but that there was a brotherhood of swans under Mother Elizabeth. Then, we didn't even bother to tell him that A, that all swans were property of the Queen of England was probably a myth. B, even if it was true, it probably only applied to English swans. And C, why would he want to be the official property of anyone? We just let him swim around the pond singing God Save the Queen for a few weeks until eventually he forgot. Two days after finding the sunglasses, though, we caught Andre throwing matches into the beaver's dam. The matches weren't lit, and even if they had been, the dam was probably do too damp for it to catch but it was still a dick move. And a few days after the matches, Andre took a shit outside the rabbit's hole for no reason. He said he ate some bad steak tartare, but we're all vegetarians around here, and the most exotic thing we've ever seen Andre eat was sweet potato fries with chipotle mayo. Afterward, he said he felt like his tongue was being slapped by a fat Spanish woman. The final straw was on Thursday when Andre started throwing ducklings up like baseballs and whacking them with, the, with his wings across the pond. We formed a committee and we took a vote, and in the middle of the night, the badger snuck into Andre's nest. He stole the sunglasses and buried them in a hole so close to the center of the earth that all the magma down there probably melted them up. The badger told us how dirty Andre's nest had been, how he had to sift through all the feathers left over from Andre's wife, and at first we started laughing until someone reminded us that swans mate for life. The end. Um... My apologies again. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you are still as happy as I am.